Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim. Welcome to episode 66 of the Let's Play series here down on Court Farms Country Park. Hope you're all doing very well and having a lovely day. So, where are we now? We are now in the month of December. I have completely fast forwarded November. Um, not that I missed out on anything, obviously I had to spend each of the three work days uh, sorting out all the manure, the slurry, all the production systems if they needed any looking at getting a bit of wool over to the wool mill selling a load of the wool because the wool mill just can't keep up with the uh, the rate of production from the sheep uh, so yeah and i have uh, finished off all of the field rolling and i have topped up every single field with lime and fertilizer if it needed it so we are now in a position where everything is ready to rock and roll kind of thing the fields are in excellent condition apart from as you can see here we have a couple of fields with some big weeds in. Now these are ready to go with a bit of herbicide. Bring up the menus here. As you can see, yeah, we need to get our herbicide on, which is uh, what I've been looking to do, as I think I mentioned in the last episode, or it might have been the episode before. And as you can see, looking at the bank balance, we have a particularly healthy £615,000. So that's brilliant. Uh, we're not going to have that for long, because I do have a couple of things in mind that I'm going to spend a bit of cash on. Uh, now this field of oats over here, has no weeds in it because this is the field I was running the mechanical weeder in when I made the decision to not carry on doing that and uh, start dealing with a bit of herbicide primarily um, for the purposes of trying to increase my precision farming score as well but uh, we'll see if that works so anyway we're in December uh, all the grass fields are ready to go they are ready to be cut the the bunker silo over there the one that we put a few hundred thousand liters of grass in a couple of episodes ago that is all fermented and ready to be loaded up and put into the bga to get earning for us uh, it's 20 past 10 in the morning so if i was to get all that loaded in we could uh, essentially by the end of today potentially um have made a good chunk of money back into the account so uh, i've just as i say i've just uh, put the last of the slurry from the cow barn here into the tank we're going to get that into the bga as well now in November, uh, I also made a purchase of another 60 head of cattle and stuck them in here. Um, in fact, while the bank balance is as good as it is, I think it would be a good idea to do a bit more. So let's... There we go. So I think that will take our total there to 170 cows. There we go. That's excellent. Brilliant. Just what we want. But as you can see there, the manure is uh, down to zero because we've just put the last drop in the tank here. Um... Now this, uh, I, I did point out, I mentioned that this barn does spawn a bit of manure in here as well. It holds 100,000 litres. I uh, hadn't actually, you know, put two and two together and appreciated that. So the manure bunker that I placed outside, I haven't been able to make any use of yet because I've just been taking it out of here for now. Uh, but uh, that's essentially what I spent the whole of uh, the three days of November doing on the last day of October, just shifting muck in various places, all into the biogas plant. So... Yeah, so I think the first job we're going to crack on with is we're going to get this, the uh, bunker silo up there, unloaded, tipped into the biogas plant, and get that earning for us. And then, uh, what I'd like to do then is I need to make uh, a trip down to the shop. I'm going to make a purchase of a nice new shiny uh, herbicide sprayer. I did have in mind buying that nice green Giants DLC John Deere thing with the um, with the fancy technology on it, but... I can actually get the same thing, but a bit cheaper from... Uh, it's a mod pack that I've got. It's a, the Kubota equipment pack by... Uh, I think it's by Iconic. Uh, that's a few pounds cheaper. It's a rear-mounted thing, um, so I'll need a tractor with a, uh, a front weight on. Um, but it's a few quid cheaper than buying that John Deere tow-behind one with the added 39 grand expense on for the, uh, the sea and spray technology, or spot and spray, I think it's called, one of the two. So... And yes, and we'll be, uh, we'll be kitting the Massey Ferguson out down at the shop with a set of row crops on there as well to do things properly. So when we uh, when we do spray the weeds in the field, um, we're doing it correctly with a set of narrow tyres. So we'll get this lot tipped into the biogas plant for now. And we're going to make a quick trip down to the shop. I'm going to take that old, that, that little John Deere 250 herbicide sprayer that I do have on the farm. I think it's got a width of about 9 metres. Now I'm sure... It's perfectly good in that respect, but it's a very old thing. And I think now that uh, now that we are where we are on the farm, now that we've got a bank balance that what we've got, still over half a million quid, I think I can uh, I can safely afford to say, do you know what? Yeah, let's uh, treat ourselves to a, a half decent fertilizer and uh, slurry uh, herbicide sprayer. So 
I'll finish off here, get this lot loaded in here, and I'll pick you up on the way to the shop in the Massey. Right, down at the shop. Let's uh, get straight onto the workshop ramp in here, and I think we should be able to do most of the things we need to do on here. There we go. Bump into the wall. Big drop down. So, first and foremost, we need to get rid of this thing. 4,183 quid. Goodness me, I thought that was a... Uh, thought that'd be a lot less valuable, but still, yep, sell that. There we go. Massey Ferguson. Customise. So, into the wheels now. Can I get narrows in BKTs? No, I can't. So, there we go. Continentals. Are they the narrowest ones? They still look quite wide. There we go. I think, yeah, it was the Trellenborgs that I think had the narrowest ones in my mind for realism purposes. I feel that's the correct thing to do. So, for a thousand pounds, there we go. Boom. Excellent stuff. Configuration has been changed. We will need to uh, pick that back on as well. Jump in. There we go. Lift that back up. Let's pull a bit away from the wall there. Excellent stuff. There we go. Wheels are considerably cleaner than the rest of the tractor, aren't they? So, and uh, on top of that, we now need to make the purchase of the new sprayer. So, jumping back into the tools menu, into the sprayers. Now, the one I've got in mind is dum -dum 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 -dum, this one here. For, uh, the Kubota Equipment Pack by Iconic. So, this is quite customizable. Um, 18, 24, and 28 meters. Now, I think, personally, I think 18 meters is going to be about right. I don't need to add the extra expense on the width because obviously we're on court farms, the fields aren't gigantic. So, 18 meters wide, I think, would be more than enough for our usage of it. Uh, we will, what do we reckon, new or old? I will stick with the new ones. Um, but I am going to add a bit of capacity to the tank on this thing so it'll give us a 7500 litre capacity and yes weed spot spraying that's exactly what we want so 68,350 pounds that'll do for me now as I said this one is considerably cheaper than the John Deere variant the big toe behind one because that was including the weed spot spraying and uh, and whatnot that was just shy of a hundred thousand pounds so getting the same technology and the same thing essentially for considerably less is uh, a sensible thing to do so we'll keep it all as the kubota orange i think for now why not so let's get that purchased thank you very much there we go there it is so now you can see why i uh kept the front weight on this thing be careful backing out of here there we go Crash into the uh, port lift driver there. Right. Excellent. That should do us just fine. PTO and cables. Lift up. Doesn't seem too heavy, I don't think. So uh, I know that I do have just over a thousand litres of herbicide back at the farm. So I'm going to make a purchase of, I'm going to buy 5,000 litres of herbicide right now at the shop here, load it up, and then fill up with the extra that we've got up at the farm there. And we'll get them weeds out of the fields. So I'll get that done, and I'll see you back at the farm. Right, back at the farm now. Now I suppose it was a bit of a waste of time, but I've just given the tractor a wash off as well, because with a nice clean uh, sprayer on the back and the nice shiny new wheels, the tractor and the weight on the front looking dirty just didn't quite sit right with me. So, but as you'll see, I have actually uh, installed another jet washer in the shed here as well, uh, just so I could get to these uh, bits of equipment that I hadn't uh, hadn't got cleaned. So uh, it was only a grand. The bank balance was uh, more than healthy, so got that done. So we are going to crack on with the weed spraying as soon as possible but first and foremost i want to get that bunker emptied and uh get it tipped into the bg8 to get the money earning for us so let's just uh take a quick jog down here now and remind myself the kind of literage that we had in here so where are we this should be us about here there we go open it up bring up the menus 346,222 
liters. Right, brilliant. Okay. Um, now, frustratingly, I, I still haven't uh, altered these. I need to ideally turn them round, but uh, the first thing I need to do is try and get rid of the whole <laughs> blanket, don't I? Because I want to be unloading from this end here, not from the other end. So, uh, yeah, we'll sort that out. I think I should be able to do that with the telehandler, might I, if I start unloading it from the other end. But uh, but what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to pop the whole uh, loading and unloading of the bunker and putting into the biogas plant with the tractor and trailer into a, a little time lapse, perhaps. So I'm going to get everything loaded up, get everything sorted, brought around here, and crack on with a time lapse and get it all loaded in. Right, job done. Let's turn that off for a second or two. So, yeah, jumping into the uh, production systems menu very quickly, as you can see, now we have 341,043 litres of silage ticking away nicely in the BGA. 354,097 of slurry and just over 80,000 of manure. So, earnings should be reasonably good by the end of today, especially by the end of the month. Now, very quickly, I have just... Uh, spent a few minutes in the construction menu and i've reorientated these uh bunkers so they're now facing what i wanted to be the correct way so as you can see there the electric boxes on the wall are now at the other end i've uh, i've righted the money so we were exactly what we were before i started four seven six five nine nine so that's all good so i figured it was the best time to do it because obviously they were once we got this one emptied this one still didn't have anything in it so uh for now anyway because 
one of the next jobs we have to crack on with is the mowing of the grass but i want to get the uh want to get those weeds sorted we've got if we pop into the field menu very quickly i want to say two or three fields where are we growth weeds three fields there we go yeah 91 92 and 59 so we need to get our new uh row crops running in the massey so we'll uh take this thing back over to the shed to be fair it could do with a bit of a wash couldn't it it's a bit of a mess with all the running around that it was doing in uh, november with me shifting the manure and the uh feeding the cattle back and two back and two for several days it is in very much need of a clean so we'll uh, we'll spruce this thing up and we'll jump in our nice shiny massey and get killing some weeds There we go. That's much better, isn't it? It was yellow under all that dirt. <laughs> so, one thing I forgot to mention earlier at the beginning of the video, just uh, one of the things that I'd done off camera was I finally shifted all the literage of barley and rye that we had stashed away in the silo over here uh, over to the grain mill. So now we have our canola, which is uh, to be sold this month, linseed, which we need to get rid of in January, I believe, the sunflowers are to be sold in March and the soybeans in July uh, and the wheat obviously I'm keeping back for the chickens. Now the chickens don't go through a huge amount. I probably could afford to sell maybe a trailer or two of the wheat and still be fine because they only take, what, I think it's about a thousand litres, a couple of thousand litres tops. Um, but we'll, uh, maybe I won't, I'll just uh, I'll just keep the, weeds where, the, the wheat sorry, where they are. So... Let's get this beauty into action, shall we? There we go. Turn all those lights off. Turn the engine off. Yeah, looking forward to this. So, I think we shall start with the field furthest away, which is field... Well, it's either 90... We'll, we'll go for 92. It's a bigger one, so we'll, uh, we'll go for that one. I'm going to pop a bit of this work into a cinematic with the nice new, uh, new row crops and herbicide sprayer. So... I can't imagine it's going to take too long with it having even the shortest width that we could apply to this uh, herbicide sprayer at 18 metres. Certainly not going to take too long, but I shall uh, endeavour to pop it into a cinematic nonetheless. Now, let's get this gate open. And there we are. Now, I don't think the crops are long enough to have, because I do have cr uh, crop destruction turned on, but just wanting to do things correctly that's why I got these row crops fitted I'm kind of thinking I can't remember whether even with the tires even with the, the crops at their current length with the tires I previously had on the Massey with the big ones I wasn't sure whether the crop destruction would activate anyway but uh, as I say for the sake of doing things correctly it looks quite cool don't you think so anyway we'll pop this lot into a cinematic get these uh, weeds eradicated and I shall see you very soon.
There we go, job done. I am very happy with this purchase. I must admit, it's an absolute beauty of a machine. It has barely touched the total of herbicide that we have in the tank, probably thanks to the uh, sea and spray technology, but we started with about 73 or 74% full. We're now down to 70, and that's all three fields done. So, weeds be gone and all that. Good job. So, and also, I have uh, increased my precision farming score in a couple of the fields so this is the field we're currently in now it's at 99 uh, it looks like all of those blue bars are completely full but i've got a funny feeling that the ph value one is very slightly one notch down to the left so it might be that anyway uh, but over in field 92 we are at 97 the only bar that's lacking that's shy in any way there is the nitrogen which confuses me a bit because i have been using um the automatic application rate if i have been applying solid fertilizer and or uh, digestate uh, but also at 99 in this one as well and it looks like the top bar there of nitrogen is again slightly down as well so either way it's gone up and that's all that matters so i suppose uh, now i did watch one of scroft's videos quite a while ago regarding it was like a tutorial in how to achieve a one a perfect score in precision farming and i seem to remember him saying that even if you just run herbicide and just turn it on and off in a field that does recognize and it does activate it and increase the score but i did it in uh, while i was working in this field i very quickly just went through the hedge into this field turned it on and off again but no the, there wasn't any uh, effect on the, the score there but either way i'm uh, i'm not fussed the weeds are gone i have a nice shiny piece of equipment on the farm i quite like the way the massey looks on the row crops if i'm honest it's uh, it's growing on me um, anyway, right, so what's next on the list? Well, uh, I think we need to get cracking with a bit of grass mowing, don't we? Uh, I am going to start in the big field over there um, and get that one done. I, I'm not too sure if I'm going to pop the grass mowing into a cinematic. I might just pop the, uh, the picking up, possibly. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. We'll see. Uh, but let's uh, get this over to the yard, get everything disconnected need to find a place for this to live actually I haven't figured that one out either so we'll uh... anyway right I'll, uh, I'll pick you back up ASAP I've figured out what on earth I'm doing <laughs> right okay now executive decision made I am going to put the mowing of the grass into a uh, into a cinematic and I'll get it all picked up off camera and stuck into one of the bunkers now i know it does look shorter than it should do but uh, I, I think it's probably something to do with like the winter texas on this map but uh this was ready to harvest back in november and obviously we're now in december it's in its second growth stage uh it, i think it just looks it appears a little bit shorter potentially down to the winter texas so uh i'm pretty confident that it's ready to go so we'll get it all mowed up I'm very keen to see the amount of the the yield that we get from this field because it is a whopper. It's uh, I think it's probably the biggest field that I've mowed of grass so far in the game in this. Uh, we're almost in six years actually, aren't we? Year five in December, so uh, January time will be year six. It's quite an achievement for me anyway. <laughs> right, okay, so let's get mowing. I'll catch you after.
Right, it's okay, so that's that field done. We have yielded from that field, not as much as I'd have initially thought, but 271,285 litres so far. Still a bit of compacting do to do in the bunker here, but what I think I am going to do now, because this, um, with us having the three bunkers, and I want to make as much use of them, out, uh, make as much use out of them as I can. Forgive me, tongue twisted, easy for me to say. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the, uh, the the grass field that's next to the grain mill. I'm going to get that mowed now as well. I'm going to try and get it done quickly off camera. Uh, get it mowed, picked up, and put in here as well then essentially what I can do is I can put two of the fields in here because we've got six more left to cut uh, two of them are still growing the, the two smaller ones at the bottom there uh, either side of the cow barn so the, in my in my mind now I'm going to get two fields put in here and blanketed over two put in here blanketed over likewise here um, but potentially one of the fields as well uh, get turned to hay because I still need to we've still got a bit of hay in the production system if we go and have a look now uh, where are we? Dum -bum. There we go. Let's scroll up a bit quick. No, all right. TMR. There we are. Yes, yeah, so we've got 187,000, just under 188,000 of hay in there now, which it, it, that'll see us through for the near future, but I could do with topping that up and you need to think about it. So uh, if we go to the map PDA, in my mind, we've got uh, that one in there now. I'll put this one into that bunker. We'll get these two put in a bunker, this one and one of these two, and then the other. The one that's left over will turn to hay and stick in the mixer. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I think we should go with it. So no time like the present. Need to crack on. It's uh, five to two. The weather's good for the rest of the day. Um, it's it's going to be turning sunshiny about four o'clock. So uh, yeah, crack on. And I'll pick you back up when this bunker is a wee bit more full. Now then, all sorted. There we go. Two fields worth now loaded into the bunker so we have now got 410,888 litres which is so much better than what we had before uh now i appreciate I, I, I suppose in my mind i was looking i was kind of hoping for another great big bulky uh bunker load like what we got from the corn a few months back but obviously that's not going to happen because in the corn we had 680 690,000 litres if i remember if i remember correctly uh and obviously from here we're getting give or take a bit obviously not being totally accurate about 200,000 litres per field uh, but it's going to work out about the same really because obviously corn six, for numbers sake say 600,000 litres um, but it takes five six months to grow and I know you can forage corn I think is it maybe a month or so early but yeah if you plant your corn you've got to wait five six months before you can forage it whereas with grass it takes two months to get to full growth stage so you get three cuts out of that six months it equates to pretty much numerically roughly about the same give or take a bit so yes if we uh if we added another field of similar size into here we'd have give or take a bit about six hundred thousand liters so anyway sorry i was just <laughs> i'd been figuring things out in my head because i thought to myself before as i was doing this i was thinking would it be more beneficial to to do another field of corn like what we did months ago but no it won't it'll be it it'll work out roughly just about the same uh anyway so Sorted. 410,000 litres. 110,888 litres. So let's blanket the silo. There we go. Now I've done my best to make sure I'll get every little square granule of chaff. There we go. Excellent. Done. Lovely stuff. Very happy with that. So that's now fermenting away. Now obviously we've got another several fields to get done. So if all goes to plan, sometime hopefully after the next episode, at the end of the next episode, we'll have two more fields in here. Potentially four maybe if we... Uh, got the time get a load in here and as i said we'll keep uh, one aside for hay as well um and that should get the earnings really quite uh, really quite good per hour if we can keep the uh, keep the bga stocked up with silage for as long as possible we'll have to i don't think we need to worry about sticking any in the fermenter at the minute because i think we've still got 400 something thousand i think let's remind myself again sorry where are we silage yeah 411,000 nearly 412 so we'll certainly top it up we'll certainly put a little bit in there but predominantly it's all going in the bg8 increase that bank balance so awesome stuff it's been another cracking episode i feel we've got uh, we've got quite a bit done we've killed those weeds we've got ourselves uh, a row crop equipped massey now with a nice new uh, herbicide spreader we've got a couple of grass fields mowed loaded into the bunker now i need to as a matter of urgency i need to 
get the grass roller into these two fields that we've just cut and get that second get that growth uh, promoted and get this growing as fast as possible get it topped up with uh, nitrogen and lime if need be obviously we'll run the slurry spreader in here if we need to with some digestate but yeah job done quite happy with that we've also got more cows we've got uh, i think what did i buy another 120 head of cattle i think i bought so uh, the manure and slurry production from them will uh, crack on now i know i know they haven't uh, started producing milk yet because i believe obviously because i do have the enhanced animal mod uh, activated in this game so they're not going to start producing till they hit a particular age and until they've started breeding so uh, i'm not expecting any milk from that cow stall yet for quite a few months i think uh, but they're there that's the main thing we made the start the ball is rolling down the hill so to speak right so i think for this episode ladies and gentlemen i'm going to call it here so thank you very much for watching i really appreciate your time watching the video i do hope you've enjoyed it and found it even remotely fun and interesting as always if you're new to the channel you like my content you like the way i'm doing things please consider hitting that subscribe button and jumping on board joining the channel giving the video a like if you can if you have liked it of course uh, and as always there are a host of links in the video description below with my giants partner promo code if any of you are in the market for purchasing uh, a season pass a dlc an add-on or even the full game itself uh, or even the new farm production pack we've got a code for that now as well now that that's uh, been announced um your support would be hugely appreciative so take care everyone i'll see you in the next episode <laughs>